Big up Juju. What up, Ju? Oh yeah. You guys hear us now? Juju? Yeah. Yep. Nice. Uh, and we're back. <sighs> I should just run a bar. Oh Dude. yeah, there are no bars. Can you uh reintroduce <laughs> yourself, Cliff? And reintroduce uh image crew? This is the image crew there at one three five dash sixteen Northern Boulevard, Flushing Queens to get all your kicks. They're also on Instagram, Image NY and Image NY two? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. What's the difference between both of those? Uh we we put our inventory in uh image on my two, like our updated inventory and then uh the the regular page we just for sure promos and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So okay. hang on one second. Yo, uh, Perry, just so you know, Roscoe's here, too, just mm. to, you know, throw oh, some, yeah. Yeah, throw so some stories up, and shit. Yeah. Perry, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> so, uh, so what? The rest of you guys. Yeah, so, like, what's going on with uh, with all of this happening? You guys seeing any sales or, like, I mean, obviously a lot less sales, more sales? Um, I think sales have actually been better, I would say. Um kids got extra unemployment money as we put it that way the extra 600 probably helped even with the loot give me the loot yeah, even with nowhere to floss them they're they're still buying yeah. them uh, yeah surprisingly yeah, yeah. They, they'll find someone to you know show off their nice new kicks yeah eventually. yeah right on the basketball court i see a lot of kids playing basketball yeah a lot of asian kids actually it, it, it's retail itself uh i know a lot of retail stores a lot of people have been just shopping spending their uh pandemic money right that few months that everyone was home you know they had that itch hey listen i gotta go buy something you know yeah so they, they really miss us and i really appreciate them coming to us you know shopping right right no doubt big up image image crew customers by the way guys i love fuck if you know me you know i love sneakers and image has been kind of like a bridge for me to like either go back and get some old school classic shit yeah, and, you know uh, we always got you. Yeah, and Almost. you know these guys have you know they've been feeding my addiction, and I had to stop, bro. I had to go to a hospital and be like, <laughs> like delete their number, <laughs> kind of like, yo, I gotta chill the fuck out. My wife is gonna kill me. There's my whole vestibule is is packed with like image crew, sh- like image shit. Like it's and Roscoe too doesn't fucking help me either. Right. But uh, <laughs> listen, this is one of the one of the one of the premier places that I love to go to. It's a super friendly vibe and, you know, their family. And I, I highly suggest if you like sneakers and everything, they do have fucking everything. So definitely Appreciate follow that, these guys. Man. Follow. These guys are fucking awesome. For real. And on top of that, Perry's uh, my daughter's godfather. So it's like a family <laughs> affair now. You know? But right now, my guys are fixing like audio. I don't know. They're trying to do some technical shit. But uh, how about we start with... Uh, how did image start, man? Where where did it begin? Like where the where and the what? You know, like how did like you guys get together and be like, yo, you know what? We're gonna fucking open up a shop and sell shit. Um what year was it? Two thousand seven? We started um we started making we started image in two thousand seven. Nice. Uh we started selling like accessories, like sneaker related accessories online. Um but we met in high school. Yeah. I think we were the first three legit sneaker heads in Newtown High School. Shout out to Newtown. Wow. There was like the term sneakerhead was never around around that time, I figured. Um yeah, us three we were legit doing meetups and stuff. Every paycheck from work would go straight into sneakers, I guess. And we saw a market in Queens, um, where there was a mall that was opening up in Queens and we figured it was a good place to start a consignment shop Mm. Uh, because we felt like queens was a bridge for for long island in order to get to the city you have to go through queens before you get to long island so we felt like it was the right place and and flushing was a great destination and it turned out to be good i mean like like greg said we met in high school like any typical story we became friends because of sneakers but that's now back in 2006 that wasn't the case you know so we're like, yo, we talk about sneaker every single day. We look at each other's sneakers <laughs> every day. We try to outcompete each other. Hey, Greg will come in with a certain shoe. I'll come in with a certain shoe. Greg will come and shoe. And just every day we're like, yo. And then we just became friends. We go to the city, hang out. We go to sneaker shows. Hey, listen, 
how about we pool our money, we'll sell shoes together, and we'll make something out of it. Why so not? I remember the first uh, Dunk Exchange. That was technically the first sneaker show ever. Dunk mm-hmm. Exchange, it was where? Where was it? Was it, was it, it was raining that school, day. Yeah. I do remember it was raining. We had to lug all our sneakers and then mm. pull up. It was like maybe like less than 10 vendors in the whole club. It, it's, the whole it's, club it's the most typical thing because now this is how friends become friends. Exactly. Yeah. But I feel like this is... We were the pioneers. We did it first, you know. I don't want to put it out there, but that's how I feel. Like, you know, we were the first one to do it. You right. know, that's right. Shit, that's why you guys are the fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love that shit. That's I'm why he spends every paycheck on you guys. Yo, <laughs> help me out. That's dope. So I it's just it. it's three of you guys basically started Image. Yeah, yeah. Man, well, we do have a big team behind us. So without them, yeah, we shout course. out all of them. We wouldn't be where we're at. Yeah. Definitely Juju was uh, rocking Lacoca Sportif in Newtown in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know. Just so everybody knows. Queens, New York. DJ Neil Armstrong's in the chat. There's a whole bunch of heads up in here. Thank you guys for uh, checking us out, obviously. Today's a sneaker episode. So, you know, we did a little um, montage earlier, and uh, it showed the... Um, the cause Jordans, which are Carlos's favorites. Yeah, that's, um, that's the directly Greg and Perry. Yeah, Yo, Carlos, Carlos, you like cause? Look, man, you need these. Oh, oh Air Maxes, man. The cause Air Maxes. They're not my size. I think I know about them. Can you those put are like closer, an eleven, right? With put them closer something? to the camera. Oof. Right, you yeah, remember those? Whoa. Oh, yeah, we sold those. We sold. Oh, wow. <laughs> those are sold <laughs> materials. Those black ones are dope. Jesus Christ. Nah, I'm out of here, bro. I'm I'll take those black ones if you got them in a size 10. <laughs> or I'll yeah. wear an extra sock if they're a lot, size 11. Perry, what are those right now? 1500 maybe? Um, I think I think, I think think the black one's like three grand. There you go. White one's <laughs> like oh, yeah. 25. I'm talking like 2007 <laughs> when they were released. Like I'm talking nose prices. Like, can you imagine that? <laughs> what are some of your, what, what uh, I mean, other than the Tiffany's. And the uh, the oh, dunkles, dunkles are dunkles are dope. Which ones did I have? Which ones did I want? The Atmos. Those are my favorite ones. First of all, Greg I just kept wearing them. Greg helped me out a lot to get you that that birthday gift I got you. I got you those Korea Jordans. Oh yeah, those Korea Jordans. Sold and free. Yeah, well, those yeah. are fire. Yo, Greg you, never bro. says no. It's like going to a mechanic to see Greg because Greg will be like. Ah. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I'm not going right to pay a lot for this muffler. Is, yo, I, it's really hard. I can get it, but it's going to be, you know, whatever, whatever. But I was like, yo, I need these. I remember because Carlos rarely walks up to me like this. He's like, yo, I got something for you. <laughs> What's up, bro? What's up? That night, right? Yeah, yeah, you're here. So. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, I got you these. And I was like, oh, shit. I opened them. I was like, what? I got to go home right now. Can't walk around fucking with these in the fucking club. Wanted to leave the, wanted to leave the club. You didn't want to yeah, fucking I was like, I here. can't walk around with these. I'm probably going to leave them somewhere, you know? Thank you guys That's for that. That's a great gift, man. Yeah. That's a great gift. Those are dope, for sure. So what are your, like, some of your favorite kicks, you guys? Personally, because you guys are fucking, you know. You You're surrounded are, by it. Yeah. Like, what is the <laughs> shit that you guys are like? Yo, this is my shit. It'll forever be my shit. I feel like Jordan well, 1 listen, is going to come out. I've came to age where I can't wear stuff like dunks, you know. It's just not comfortable for me anymore. I'm on my feet every day working here. So I, I uh, love runners, Heineken. comfort shoes, hiking shoes. So I don't care for all those, you know, personally anymore. So you, you, like so you, you bought yeah. stock in Crocs, basically. Is that what you did? Crocs. <laughs> a, a lot of new balances. He's wearing uh, new balances right now. So I'm going to wear some gas. Not the wrong Crocs. <laughs> not the wrong Crocs. <laughs> Nothing wrong, Crocs. So, but but Greg and Perry, <laughs> they're, 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 it looks like they're still in 2006 buying shoes. They go yeah. hard. They go hard. Yeah. Hard body. They go hard, yeah. Yeah. Hard. So what about they're you? They're the one flaunting it at the basketball court. So like wait, what? Is it, okay, don't skirt the issue. What's your favorite, like, kicks? Um, I'm going to go with my top three would be Jordan 3 Black Cements. Uh-huh. I feel like that's a staple in any collection. Um, okay. I you should see really Roscoe. Like Roscoe's, like, giving you the approval, easy, like. Easy two solars. I think that's, I have two pairs of those. Uh, those are probably one of my favorites as well. Uh-huh. And then I would have to say Jordan 4 Black Cement. Mm. Top three. That's it. You know, those are iconic. Jordan, can't, Jordan, can't beat those. The uh, Yeezys are super comfortable. 
I mean, I have a pair. Someone gifted me a pair, and I was like, oh, I'm not going to wear these marshmallow shoes. I put them on. I was like, these are fucking amazing. Oh, easy. I'm going to walk new around. Ones, the yeah, the newer ones. I, I haven't really seen, you know. I don't really catch up on this in your culture like you guys. Yeah. I've heard. Mm, never wore them, Roscoe. <laughs> not the not the easy fan. They're Adidas. They're Adidas. I did I. Oh yeah. Don't fuck with. Uh, yeah. I tried them on. They you tried them on. They are comfortable. <laughs> but you wouldn't wear them because they're not Nike. You're a Nike all day, I mean, every day. The Roshis were pretty much the same shoe, just right. not uh, the hype. Right. And a lot cheaper. But mm. I, again, you, they are super comfortable. So I get the people who like. I see people wearing them still every day. Yeah. It's a colorway too, you know? Yeah. You could be like that shoe basically it's it's comfort and stylish. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, so if you want comfort and you want to look fly, that's the shoe that yeah, like you, people you, know what they are. Right. You don't have to sell us on sneakers, bro. We're already big fans, okay? So <laughs> <laughs> Well, you guys haven't shopped in a while, so we're trying to get yeah, that money. That's true. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> that's hundred percent. What about you, Perry? What what kind of kicks are you? Uh guys? Jordan ones. The Chicago mainly, the Chicago mm. colorway. I mean, that's just that's a classic, uh, yeah, classic. standard classic. Um, Nike SB Dunks, mm-hmm. the Jedi's. I still have, you know, I still have them home, brand new. What's hey, your cool. What's your foot size, Perry? Are you size ten? Thanks, Greg. You got nine, me those Jedi's. I appreciate you're it. You're ten and ten, ten and a half. All right. If you nine, don't want, half. if you don't want those Atmoses, let me know. I'll, I'll give. You, I'll, I'll, <laughs> trade you some, I'll trade you some pork ones. So I don't see you wearing them anymore. I, I I wore those every day, and I was like, oh, I'll just get another pair. What are they like? A couple hundred bucks? And then it was like fifteen hundred dollars. I was like, oh, dude, come <laughs> on, come on. Yo, um, um, Perry, what's up with the? Uh, you got some VIP like. Some like like who do you close the shop for? Like you got some VIPs if you can disclose that information because I know you got besides uh, Carlos, we we get you know a few basketball players and like some. But we don't really close the shop for anybody. Mm. They just they just pop in like surprisingly. Oh, uh, we get like a few rappers that come in. Sheck West has been you know always shopping with us since like Psycho Less. Sheck West. Oh shit. Action, right, right. action's been to the old store. Action, yeah. uh-huh. action Bronson. Yeah, I was like, cyclist. Um, I've heard of that guy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, like a lot of them, a lot of them pop in like unannounced, and then they just, you know, they blow blow a bag. Cash. Yeah, <laughs> but one of you guys are always there, right? To deal yeah. with that kind of clientele, or whatnot, or yeah, yeah. like, do you yeah, get the Batman that? phone call? Like, yo, Robert De Niro's here. You got to come through right uh-huh. now. <laughs> no, one of us is usually here at least. Okay. Mm. It's pretty ill. And you guys yeah. closed down for a while because of the COVID. And then you, yeah, the you COVID hid. And the riots. We just oh, yeah, opened back uh, recently, yeah. in August. And then the picture with like all the shelves cleared out. I was like, yo, was like, that's kind of crazy. That shit made me sad. You know, uh, every, every sneaker store was getting hit by like, you know, the riots and like, you know, looting. Right. So it's a perfect time for a uh, yeah renovation. We, just, we started doing mild renovations. So it's like oceans, added, oceans order. four over here. Like, yeah. oh, let's go find some <laughs> sneaker shops. <laughs> so everyone's distracted. Mm. You know? Somebody's but, but at- the whole the whole thing was good because we we've been doing this for so long. We mm-hmm. hadn't had a break from this, and I felt energized. Oh wow! Listen, I got to stay home, hang out with my daughter, mm. do what I have to do relax my brain a little bit to get it you know back to normal to prepare for all this craziness that we are dealing with now which is perfect you know i, I can't complain yeah so, somebody in the chat's asking like how do you overcome competition from bots and companies like stock x thoughts on everyone in the world collecting slash reselling dunks good fucking questions That's two questions right there well you. here's my thing competition will always be there Mm. But you have to offer something that other competition don't have. And that's what we provide. You come in, you have a store experience. Hey, listen, can I try these on? Yo, uh-huh. What's the condition on this? Boom, try it on. You look good. And we have selection. That's my main thing. Mm. If you're going to open a sneaker store now, you got to have a lot of options. Because someone can come in with $200 or $100 and they can buy something in our store. You right. know? Even $50 sometimes. Yeah, we do new and used. You know, not everyone has a few hundred dollars to spend, yeah. you know. And the craziest thing is because we get legit new inventory every single day. So if you come to Image seven days a week, you'll see seven different items that you didn't see the first time or the last time you came. 
Mm-hmm. And right. I feel like that's a great, you know, option. We we are the definition of a mom and pop. You know? Although, you know, there are a lot of people bodying and like there's also like online websites, but you know, there's that was like so many pairs of shoes to go around, you know, there's and and also we offer, you know, if we want to sell your shoes, we offer money on the spot. Yeah. That's something yeah. stock X or uh, online service can do. You know, you want you, have, you need a verification, you know, process, which we mm-hmm. understand, you know. Over here, you bring it in. We'll buy it right on the spot. You, you go on move with your day. You know, you don't have to. Yo, you you it. get some bogus shit though. You get some like yeah. Canal Street Jordan fours with the Gucci <laughs> logo oh, on it. Every <laughs> single day, you yeah. 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 We, nine out of ten times when you ask friend. the kid where they got the fake shoes from, they're gonna tell you, "Oh, I didn't pay for this yet." I, you know, it's my cousin's friends, it's my uncles. Friends. You know, right. <laughs> my mom bought it for me. Yeah. Before I pay for, for this online school, I understand you don't want to be embarrassed. You got fake shoes, but 100%. it is what it is. You know, nobody wants to be embarrassed. Well, because Sometimes yeah, those people <laughs> even bought it fake from somebody thinking it was real. Yeah. Like, and they're like, yeah. I'm going to resell it. Yeah, I'm like sure. they might find a pair on eBay that for yeah. super cheap and they can't believe it. And yo, like, uh, Big Up Beatsmith. And then they bring them into a consignment <laughs> shop and they're like, yo, like, I want to resell and, these because I paid the low for these, but I want to get the high. And you're like, oh, yeah, these are actually fake. And you're like. <laughs> and you'll get some of the people that are like offensive, like you know, like oh, these are not fake. Yeah. They try to argue with I, you. I was okay, about to go to people. that. I'm you like, know, do go, you, do you, you call like, Greg? Oh, forget that. Like, go get go get some other opinions. You know, mm-hmm. like you know, right. if you don't believe in what right. I do, then you know, shop around, see what you do, and see mm-hmm. what other people say. Because there's a lot of good fakes out nowadays. A lot of these kids, they get caught. You know, some some right. of them don't. They're not educated, and they get caught yeah, with it. You gotta right. understand, fakes only get better. You know, back in the day, if, if we wanted to buy a pair of shoes on eBay, you know, we just talk amongst ourselves. We share pictures and be like, oh, the picture of this, the tag looks good, whatnot. Nowadays, yeah. the fakes are so good that you need a black light and it goes down to the threading. Yep. And there's, you got to understand, there's certain pages that, you know, dedicate their page to uh, comparing a real one with a fake one. Guess what? The fake right. companies in China are watching your pages. Whatever you just mentioned, they're going to go back <laughs> there and just fix it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Well, they're probably, they're probably using worse. the same factories, right? Like just to yeah. make. Yeah. Well, I, I need it. Same oh, 100%. Right? Yeah. I need a pair of those Atmoses, like, you know, with, I don't have a blue light, just whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're getting so good with fakes to the point that they even have fake store receipts. Yep, yeah, yep. that is fakes. true. Oh. Like, locker tag. People no, have no, called fake. like my job like, oh, I bought this pair on eBay. I just wanted to know if you guys had them. And I'm like, yeah, like I have the, it came with like a store receipt. And I'm like, well, read me the receipt. I don't mm. really care about the shoe. Right. Like, yeah. And they'll read the receipt and I'll be like, mm, <laughs> yeah, mm. the date on that yeah. is not yeah. even when they came out. So uh, it was just. Bernie Madoff? Like, All right. <laughs> They're getting like really like clever with how they're even trying to pass fakes along, like, right? Yeah. Because you, all you need is a a, a receipt printer, which yeah. you could probably buy off eBay. You probably buy or you receipts. could buy it from Fat Buddha in a couple months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I would. But yeah, everyone that's listening, you don't want you want the real shit. Go see these guys. These guys are like like sneaker gurus. So or they, you want they, the fake shit, yeah. but don't try to go and sell them. Right. Just wear them. Yeah, just wear them. No gonna really know. Just wear them. No one's gonna come up to your, right foot. to your foot. Yeah, yeah. Except me, I'll come up. To <laughs> except for Carla, she's like, "Those are fake." Except Go to the end you, of the except line. Except for when your infat boot and the black light hits you. <laughs> 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 We're gonna put one in every table. Shame, um, shame, shame. That's shame. crazy. How has this uh, changed the way you guys go about, like, copying kicks? Like, normally, what, it's mostly consignment? Or, I mean, you guys buy a bunch of stuff as well, right? Yeah, we do. We offer consignment um, or else, or we buy on the spot. A lot of people uh, want the cash on the spot. Right. So, you know, we'll write them a check. Mm. Or if they want to trade, we'll give them a trade value. They could trade for, like, store credit for something in the store. Nine out of ten times, it's mostly buyouts they want the cash they don't they're not willing to wait millennials nowadays they don't want to wait they want everything now you know it's my now. cash it's my money and i want well, it now that's also you know, because that's... our offering price is very competitive you know you that can't you can't go anywhere else that will yeah. you know all get, get our prices mm-hmm. oh that's good and then normally it's like what one one of you or does it take t- is like how many is people have to vote? agree on the price no, no, we touch everyone's judgment. Yeah, the guys that our, work our staff, here, our staff yeah, they're trained to know, yeah. you know, what's uh, offer. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. So that's you, dope. that's that's kind of ill because I didn't know that. I thought I had to go through like one of you guys, like 
you know, whatever. No, Those be, Jordans, yeah, I'll do four of. Like micromanaging, it's, yeah. it'll be impossible, you know? We'll yeah, never yeah. get a break. I'm not trying to take a shit and rush out here and be like, yeah, you could get scratched with the fuck. And there's a general market, so you could kind of gauge. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. your competitors. All right, this place yeah. is doing this, so yeah. we know how limited this shoe might be. There's mm. math that's involved, but you kind of know what's what. Mm. I love it. Yo, what's the what's the craziest shit that walked into Image, man? Like like sneaker wise that you guys bought that you guys were like, "What the fuck? How did you get this?" Oh, man. We got we got some Jordans here. That we show. I think we had some unreleased uh, Adidas, uh, the new seven hundreds. It was from like six nine or something. No, actually, no, 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 no. I think the craziest shit we ever bought. Listen, a pair of Jordans nine made for Penny oh. Hardaway back oh, in nineteen ninety. Yeah, yeah. oh. Have that yeah, we don't. We don't have it. We it might have been anymore. the first players' edition shoe PEs. Yeah, P was made for Effort Hardway. Yeah, for for, 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 for a, a you know different players. It was like signed Penny. too, and it was signed. And that's crazy. That was one of the best shoes we ever. Do you, do you guys think about season keeping season it, or you guys were like, we're selling this shit? Like, you, no, you, there was a no. We had it for a while. There's an article on it actually. I'm, and, uh, I'm sneaking news. I'm pretty sure they posted. An article yeah, but uh, oh, shit, we got like a really good offer. So we, we had to let it go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it seems like a not so good offer now. Yeah, yeah. Really now, yeah. Now. Yeah. Hindsight yeah, 2020. Now, I'm like, what? <laughs> Yo, big up Ox Gang in the, in the chat. Yo, uh, what Perry's, up? Perry's, uh, you know, Aye. they're saying what's up to you guys. Good. We should call yeah, you guys the, the three, the hard way, Penny Hardaway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's dope. So you guys got some kicks like right in front of you? Like what's going on? You, you, you can share uh, some stuff with us? Since, since we're talking to Fat Buddha and, you know, alcohol related. I'm yeah. Love are those. those are those fat whiskey joints? Are the, what are the those? Heinekens. The Heinekens, yeah. That's dope. Uh, the Heineken dunks. Uh-huh. Um, I nice. know uh, they showed some uh, pigeons before. Yeah. But these are the first. These are one of the first SPs. If not the first SP. I, I thought the first one was a white Super. one, all white one. Danny but, no. Those are dope. Made for New York. Danny Super? Yeah. New York colorway. It's a fucking yeah. New York Nick colorway. Nice. Um, Danny Super is some, a, uh, a, a, the amazing skater. Yo, give us the sizes too, just Yeah, goes. yeah. Is there a size ten? <laughs> I think they're all Carlos' size. Uh, <laughs> no, don't show oh, those. Oh shit! All right. Oh, uh, whoa. What does that say? Hold on. You gotta a, go slower. Uh, you can't read the back there. We the best. We the best. We, oh. DJ Khaled. Khaled's. Those are what? 20, 20 racks right now? Shit, I don't even know how much these. <laughs> yeah. I think. Um, oh, that's the suede show ones. Show the red ones in the suede. back. I heard Jordan got pissed because. They had the We the Best over the well jump man over man. with the We the Best. So Jordan got pissed, so they released the blue ones without the jump man. Oh. Yeah. Fuego. Yeah, Jordan no, brand's no. weird like that. Yeah. yeah. About time, but that's right? crazy that you got Jordan Jordan being like, Yeah, I don't like you guys covering my logo. Yeah. Oh. Those oh, those are the OG joints. Kids nowadays they come in, they didn't even know that Kanye signed with Nike before. They First. Just think it was just right, right, right. How league. much are those? How much are those? Whoa, take me back to the future. What about, the, uh, back to the future? Ooh. No, no, no. The, uh, what, the those first, yeah, how much are those? I think those are like three grand. Three grand? Okay. That's what crazy. about the first, uh, the, those first three kicks that you guys showed? Like, what are those? Like the. I think this one we have at 15,000. Uh, the blue Christ. one's about twelve thousand. Twelve thousand dollars. Jesus crap. Yeah. yeah, people walk in and buy that shit, bro. They'd be like, I need those for my fucking prom. <laughs> 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 I need that for my Twitch stream. Yo, that's crazy. That shit is crazy. And those are the first that's is that the first That's the first, yeah, first. These are the first, that's the first release. Okay. Wow. What size are those? Nine. 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 Not oh. my size, thank God. I yeah. mean I couldn't wear that. <laughs> no, wait, you wear but, those. I'd where, wear, those, gonna in a, wear with those sweatpants and a fucking <laughs> lightsaber, but uh, be the villain. Yo, though they, they light up obviously and do all that. Yeah, did, we didn't charge it. We told you. Yeah. No, 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 no. That's fine. <laughs> that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Did you? And what, did the buckles go in? Did it like literally so tie itself? Did, it they did one without the auto lace first, yeah. as just charity, and then they did the auto lace. Uh, are those auto laces? Those no, these? Not these. No, these they're are not. not. Oh. Those are the we first bought, ones. We bought these. Listen, we bought these when we first opened up. Oh. We had no money. Literally, no right. money. Right. We had Lay to away. open a credit card right. just to buy these. We're like, how much Yo, is, is that? Right how much decision is that? To do right now? You guys hold on We're to eating it. We're ramen noodles, and we <laughs> we spent three thousand dollars on this shit. Wow. Yo, and what's it worth now? Ramen noodles. Noodles. What's it worth right now? Right now, it's worth about fifteen thousand. So, is it a good investment? Yeah. Yeah. Well, That's somebody amazing. buys it's it, it's a great investment. Get, you know. Anybody in the chat? You got 15, 15 racks. You just yeah. want to buy. You get a fabulous discount. They give you a high five when you walk in there, and a little and a pat on the butt. Good game. These are Jordan made for Georgetown. 
Oh, oh yeah, Georgetown. Jordan threes and the fours. You can see the logo in the front. So I know who designed cool those. Clear bottom. Who designed those, Roscoe? Ooh. This dude uh, used to work with me at the store. Izzy. Uh, Izzy? He's a good dude. George. He does what like, did he design? I didn't hear you. He said Izzy. This, this dude, guy, Izzy, Izzy who's okay. like a Jordan brand designer, does like all their special project stuff. Unions, mm. oh, team sports stuff. Right. Well, the initial designer of like the teams was Tinker himself. He just did like mm-hmm. I'm gonna make one offs for like the schools that are Nike schools that we love. Mm-hmm. And then he kind of pa- they passed it off to like other people just doing them because they were gonna start sort of selling colorways of them, but they wanted to design them first. And, right. But those George Sound ones are very like you don't Coveted. really see the George Sound ones. You see more UNC. You see more Oregon Duck. You mm-hmm. see Michigan a lot. Oh, the three schools, rest rest in peace, John Thompson, too, man. Were mm. passed away, what, yesterday? Two days ago? Oh, really? oh, right, the coach. Yeah. Yeah. Thompson, yeah. We all need a coach. Yo, you, you guys get female clientele? Because, you know, sneakers are kind of, like, really... It's like a male mosh Male, pit. yeah, like we, male we do, driven. We do, yeah, yeah, we definitely do the get females, female. they want the Yeezys. Yeah, the Yeezys? Nowadays, Yeezys. Mm. Yeah, some Jordans, but mainly Yeezys. Right. Because a lot of Jordans are uh, the smaller sizes are harder to come by now because they started recently. Well, I would say recently they started reselling. Right. Back then the kid shoes would sit in store, but now resellers see there's an opportunity, so it's harder to get. Mm. Which kind of sucks because we want to cater to the females, females yeah. you know. But it's so hard because it's so expensive. No one wants to let it go and sell it to us. So. Sometimes they go more for the than the adult look sizes. At this, look at the stash. The stash blue pack. Yeah, that's, oh. you know that's the only sneaker I never got from that crew. Really, mm. I was I was overseas when that sneaker came out. What is that? That came in a Air Force, out. right? It was an Air Force. It was like a pack, yeah. right? Air Force. I that, that was probably the first four day camp out at Recon. Oh, oh. it was longer than four. I was there was Monday was, to Thursday. I was running that release. Oh, yeah, really? Roscoe was, was was rocking that. You guys met Roscoe a while ago. They, I'm pretty sure. People yeah, got there. People got there on, on that one day, uh-huh. yeah, that line waited till Thursday. Uh-huh. The cops came, made everybody leave on Thursday, and they couldn't start lining back up till like Friday after we closed Oh, for Saturday for them to come out. Crazy. Somebody pitched a tent on the side. It was yeah. it's crazy. weird. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was there like the next day signing boxes and... Yeah, that was, it was that like was, 500 pairs of mayhem. That basically. was gold. Mm. 500 pairs, right? The packs, right? It was just individual Air Force. Oh, it and, wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't the Air Force and the uh, 95s. Yeah. And that was the, so that was like the official release. Yeah. But when we moved from Eldridge to Lafayette, right? As an opening gift, they did just the Air Force. Like us, friends and family, just the Air Force. Right, with the stash and the... With the stash, laser, mm. and, and the future yeah, laser. Logo. Yeah, and we're filming live at the bar, so we got some dudes on the motorcycle. Yeah, that was an interesting, like, camp out. I mean, we... Because we were getting everything there. Yeah. But that was, like, the main, the tier like, zero. start. Tier zero sort kind of. Or Recon had the tier, tier zero. Wow. Well, you guys Crazy, are... Like, somebody's asking if you guys ever receive any fake Dior ones. Hmm. Consignment or cash? Oh, yeah, no, we don't. Someone came into a legit check a pair of Dior ones. And he said, "Today." I was like, "Where'd you get it?" He's like, "Oh, some guy owed me money, and that was fake." Like, oh, because uh, yeah, that's just going for like 10, 10, 10, grand, 10, 10, 10, 10, grand. ten grand. Wow. What about the fakes? They get any money? Yeah. <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, no. if you could find somebody to buy. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, there's like like some fake causes and stuff, oh, and they yeah. fetch a lot of money, even though they're fake. I was like, oh, people right, because know they're, they're fake. fake and they're because such a they're knockoff fake. that yeah. it's like, yeah, almost a come out like a, oh, they look prize. terrible. That terrible. That's pretty amazing. You guys yeah. just do okay. the sneakers, right? You guys don't take like like bare bricks, things like that, right? It's nothing like that, right? Or uh, depends no, on the no, opportunity at the moment. Yeah, we, you know, space is very limited here. Yeah, but right. we, are look, we take like some supreme accessories, but not no clothing, just like you know, mm. mainly sneakers. But, nice. um, haze dunks. I don't know if you guys remember these. Of course, oh, I remember uh, haze. The smoky yeah. joints. Yeah. Yeah, those are an eleven, right? Because I wanted to get those. And what size are those? 
13. Everything is a 13. Just tell him a 13. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I missed that release. Those were good. Those are dope. Those were released. Like, really like, uh-huh. Oh, those are cool. Yeah. Oh, South Beach. Star South Basel. Beach. Miami Vices. Yeah, yeah. those are kind of ill. Star Basel. Star Basel. Star Basel. Oh. What those are, are those cool. fetch? Few thousand now, right? Five thousand. Fuck. Five thousand. Yeah. What? Whoa. Yeah. Those those Perry, you got dope. those? Nah. <laughs> Good. Like, yeah. I was gonna <laughs> yell at you, bro. I was gonna be like, Crock don't it fucking tubs. do it, bro. Sure. They released them on a we boat. Just, we, had, we just got these in. Really? It was like uh, a yacht party. Oh, it's Harry like a boat? Or like what kind of boat? Oh. So these are dope. Oh, those are ill. Look at yeah. that, man. Oh. So this one's even nice. Yeah. Play over one. Derek Anderson. Eddie, Derek. And Eddie, uh, Eddie Jones. So... Mm. Pretty nice, and then this this, this last one's pretty dope. Michael Finley, Michael Finley, uh, Olympic, Olympic Seven. Olympic seven. Nice. Whoa! I like how Perry's just like staring in the glass. He's like, hmm. He's like, what can uh, I pull out? What, what can, can I, I pull out for my I wine cabinet? Those are nice, though. Yeah. But like, really like, nice. what what sneaker impresses you guys? Where you guys are like, yo, dude, I gotta come in and look at that. Sneaker. So many, obviously, they own a store. You know, but like, you know, like for <laughs> us, like like for us, for me and Clip, it's like whiskey or like some crazy shit that we're like, right? You know, what gets I, me crazy. Like older SBs come in because. Back memories. You know, oh, friends, you know. Oh, yo, we want. We're chasing ah, the retro. The retro. So that, yeah. That that impresses me. You know. Oh, I should uh, try to get some. Ask Darren for some old OG ones. I'm asking all my fucking around. friends. Oh, that's it. I'm not gonna be fucking shy anymore. I'm so gonna you know, start gotta, look, <laughs> falling in favors, bro. Damn, I got a mafia. These are nice right here. Oh, those are dope. I love those. Oh yeah. Yo, fun story with that. When I did my little time at Supreme. James Jebbia asked me, what do you think of the, like, he gave me the choice of, like, which one's better, the red one or the white one? And I was like, bro, fucking red one, bro. Mm. Are you kidding me? But then yeah. he, you know, I guess he went, you know, he obviously went the other didn't, way. didn't heed my advice and just went all the way. <laughs> <laughs> and then the red one comes out later. And then the red one comes out yeah. later. These what are robots. those? Kid Robots. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I, I remember the day Kid Robots came out, released that uh, Barney's. Right. Yeah. And like a Barney's? Box. Yeah. Released that Barney's. You could just pull up at 6 a.m. and you would have gotten it. Yeah. Those are dope Air Maxes. Crazy, bro. How yeah. much are those? 100 bucks? <laughs> now, nah, those are like friends and family joints, right? Well, no, those are the pink one was friends and family. The pink one. Yeah. The pink one. The all pink one was a friend. Yeah. Oh. How much are those? How much are those kicks right there? Five thousand? Yeah, five thousand. It's all right. That's yes. crazy. You guys got it. Mm. Shit. Look. <laughs> it's so crazy, like how much like you know, kicks have a like increase in value. I only really got into it maybe like six or seven years ago, you know? But not like that. I was like, Oh, I wanna wear those. Mm-hmm. I'll buy those, you know. But then all these dudes hanging yo, out there the, like, yo. But the best shoe is this one, right? Oh, yeah. That's Are those size 10? fucking favorite sneaker, bro. I'm going to give you... Uh, it's an 8. It's an 8. It's an 8? <laughs> oh, man. Bind my the, feet. Was it the Atlas joints? Atmos? The Atmos those, ones? Those ones. Those that Atmos fucking cliff. Oh, what are those, Perry? What do you got? Oh. Ooh. Word. Those These are, are sexy called Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Oh, and yeah. The Amsterdam. best part is the insole. I don't know if you guys can see. It's a big booty in the, in the insole. <laughs> booty, booty, booty. This is like a uh, right. this is like a sneakerhead Crazy. mukbang video right now. Uh, Pat did those. <laughs> that was uh, entourage. Entourages, right? The actual entourage, not the real general release pair. Yeah, I believe loose. this was given to the staff. Yeah. Oh, what mm. staff member gave those up? Wow, how much are those? Somebody who uh, didn't uh, care. Three grand. Three grand. Yeah, three three grand. grand. What about the general release? They're like worth what? Yeah, those are cheap. Yeah, these. Nah, they're like a hundred bucks. Guys, there was like another release. There was an Air Force One, Air Forces, laser, the laser joint that was crazy. I remember Mayor was like, "I need those entourages." I was like, "Yo, dude." New York. Oh yeah. Oh, remember? Whoa. Yo, those were like the first ones, right? One of the first ones. Yeah. Wow, bro. That that was when Nike was doing like exclusives for people because when Nike had like the. ID studio on Elizabeth Street. They yeah, did yeah. an SNL like party oh, well, and they yeah. literally gave SNL dunks with laser. It said SNL up the side. And I was like, I need that. They just did these. And they yeah. were like, yeah. And a lot of the people who work on like Entourage, and they don't know what sneakers are. They They're don't like, care. They're just what like, whatever you like? want them, take them. <laughs> yeah, all they see is dollar signs. That too. 
Like, or they don't see it at all. They're just like, what are sneakers? <laughs> right. I feel like that was like the peak though. Like Entourage. Remember that whole episode of just like turtle, turtle, <laughs> turtle yeah. shopping for that. Turtle shopping. Like, yo, I got to get the sneaker. from Undefeated, bro. right? Yeah. And then Undefeated what got big up. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Perry's <laughs> like Perry's standing back there, like just oh, grabbing all these kicks. Perry showing this one the what the dunks. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. The homie just yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. What are those? Our, like our fucking just six that, racks. Yeah. The fragment ones. Mm. Oh, that's what I got. Oh, you got them on. Roscoe got the fragments on right now. Oh, Let's show it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold, hold, on. On. hold on one second. Roscoe, show. <laughs> 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 Bananas. Apparently, they're coming out with Fragment 3s. Oh, yeah, I see the white and black clear, ones. Clear back tab, right? Yeah. That's fire, Roscoe got us with those, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Supremes, sure, right? Those are the Supreme SBs. Ooh, those are the yeah, only ones ooh. I didn't get. <laughs> I hit the wrong Apparently, button. they're doing Jordan 1s like that, too. <laughs> Fragmented? No. Fragment or the Supreme. Supreme. Oh, or Supreme. Yeah, they're doing the Supreme. Uh, uh, same thing, though. Color black, all the same. Like, yeah. What oh, is wow. it? Damn. All right, Greg, Apparently, I'm going I'm to need a pair I saw of those, pictures. Right? I don't know if it's true or not. Oh, okay. Cannot confirm yeah. nor deny. I'm just going off the interwebs. Yeah. <laughs> interwebs are good. The, in the internets. Oh, yeah. That's and, anything crazy coming out? Roscoe, that we don't know about. Yeah, Roscoe, let's go. You're in the hot I don't know seat, if I bro. I can really disclose that without, like. I mean, by the time the streams, you know, it's going to. I'll be fired anyway. That was pretty typical. Don't worry, we got to hook up at Converse now. <laughs> yeah, I got to hook up. Nah, honestly. <laughs> so, the only stuff I was, like, privy to sort of seeing was SBs that had a, ended up already coming out. Like, uh -huh. it was like. They just came out with a bare brick dunk and the Ben and Jerry's and yeah, I like those Ben and Jerry's actually. They yeah, did surprisingly. Uh, I was like, we got them, bro. Seven Eleven dunks, <laughs> but those aren't coming out anymore. Seven Eleven, uh, right? right. They had why aren't they, why aren't they coming out? Anyone can you tell us the story? Oh, so apparently some dude from Complex uh, leaked out the picture or something. Jay Welty or I don't know the dude's name. Oh, Jay Welty. <laughs> Matt, he, Matt like, Will. wrote some, like, ridiculous article about him. Like, why would they release him in the U.S. if 7-Eleven's not that big? And didn't have, didn't know anything really about what they were made for. Right. And they were made because 7-Eleven is huge in Japan. Yeah. And so they were done for that. Right. And the Olympics were supposed to happen. Right. Obviously didn't. So they were doing it more of, like, an, a thing for them. Yeah. Big up covid Fuck you, Kobe. And then he, he wrote this article and kind of got it nixed, I uh, guess. Like, uh, two, I guess they were having two, two issues again. already around it. I don't know the specifics of the issues, but right. whatever. And then they just ended up, like, canceling it all. And it's sort of due to that article, I guess. But Cancel culture. Yo, I wonder if, wow. like, the 7-Eleven people would have had access to those sneakers, like, the way they order pizza and milk and shit. Like, yo, you Only want like Japan. a size run of this? <laughs> I mean, I'd imagine knowing Nike SB and the way they've kind of conducted releases, they yeah. would have they would set it like up to obscure, sell them from 7-Eleven. Obscure 7-Eleven, right. like, dude. Next like, to the Masubis. I mean, 7-Elevens have banks in Japan. Like, that's how big 7-Eleven yeah, I mean, is. 7-Elevens yeah. everywhere so, in Japan. Yeah. Like in every square inch. You can buy yeah. fireworks in 7-Eleven Japan. Buy everything. I don't know, know what the best thing about 7-Eleven like. can use the bathroom, man. Over here, you ask them, like, there's no bathroom here? Yeah, it's always broken. In New York, everything's The bathroom's always broken in New York. But, yeah, what else? Uh, yeah, I had, a, I had a horrible situation with 7-Eleven, bro. I went, in, I went to my 7-Eleven two blocks away, and uh, it's like 3 in the morning. Well, and I fucking, I, <laughs> yo, I get a glazed donut from 7-Eleven, bro. I'm fat. I'm sorry. <laughs> So I go that, into the little story. I go into the donut area, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to press that again. Yo, there was just like a cockroach walking through the whole donut, like 
Oh, the whole, no, yeah, and I was like, damn. They just you didn't buy it anyway? Shit. I didn't buy shit, What bro. kind of New Yorker are you? One piece of shit. You I'm horrible. It's anyway. the flavor, though. The cockroach I makes know, it. Man, I know, man. It's because he saw the cockroach. I saw him, yeah. There'd probably been a hundred of them on there before, but yeah. since he saw <laughs> I, the I one. I noticed it. There's a little colony. I noticed it, bro. <sighs> so 7-Eleven. The only thing I buy at 7-Eleven is fucking beers and White Claw with Roscoe at like fucking six in the morning. Right. Yeah, that's true. I don't drink white claws though. No, it's just, for the ladies. Just as a disclaimer. Actually, disclaimer: mm. I do drink white claws. <laughs> yeah, as a disclaimer, they're delicious. Thank you. Sponsor our, our sponsor our stream. Oh, uh, big up to everybody like uh, throwing us bits tonight and uh, following us on the chat. Word. Obviously, tonight was pretty, really, really, really amazing. Wait, I have one question, which is rare. Sorry mm. to interrupt. It's okay. But as a consignment store and having been in. S- sneakers and for as long a question i get asked from like the opposite side of like the actual sort of providing the sneakers in a sense Uh is do you think that resellers killed sort of the sneaker game i'd imagine the answer might be yes and no for you guys because your business is one side but you're also like sneakers and collect you know like honestly it's it's to me is yes and no Yes, more than like, yo, listen, let's say I want to pay, yo, I generally do want this pair to wear. I don't have it to pay a thousand dollars. No would be like, yo, listen, with any anything that you want, there's gonna be a price to pay. No matter it's shoes, clothing, cars, houses, whiskey. Yeah. So yeah. we still gonna be around. Uh, I, I, I think it helped grow the sneaker culture. Yeah, like, the popularity. Know, I mean, I agree. Getting into I agree. It, getting to know more about the culture mm. um you know there's always going to be people trying to make a quick buck trying to flip stuff of course but at the end of the day like it's it's such a big market there's new shoes coming out all the time and like more more and more colorways i think it's the community has grown from back then you know like you know it's yeah. it's blown up i feel like there was a culture when it was back in the day when there was a forums. Shout mm-hmm. out to Nike Frog and Soul Collector. Yeah. That was the culture. People hosted meetup events just to talk about sneakers out in the open. Because of social media, it kind of ruined the culture in a sense, but it was great for our business. But it grew right. the yeah, culture, it, grew, it, grew it grew the culture, the culture for yep. sure, but mm-hmm. that resale culture grew as well. Because mm-hmm. right. yeah. back then, you didn't, you know, if, if you wanted to look up when jordan 11 breads when it came out you had to literally go on the forum to do your research nowadays you get research to your phone while you're taking a shit you know like you can yeah. get that information right i had to call the yellow book i had to look up through the yellow book to find which skate shop had what you mean the yellow books. pages because you and, know and back Asians, in the day there was no book release date for sbs now right. you know oh, yeah, now you know. Next <laughs> exactly. how the hell do you know? there was no release date for sbs you literally had to wait yeah. outside the skate shop until the ups truck pulled up yeah. And tell them whether they had a shipment or not. Well, it's all about accessibility, oh, right? Crazy. I mean, technology yeah. and, you know, all like, of that and UPS, making man. stuff, you know. Yo, did you guys oh. ever travel, though? Like, did you guys ever go to, like, North Carolina just to get that certain colorway? Or We went to, what was it, upstate to pick up a bunch of SBs back then when we were we, opening we up. We went Philly, Boston. We did a lot of shows in, yeah. Uh, yeah, so under, under D.C. Uh, in the uh, East Coast, we went pretty much. Went to Japan. Japan Everywhere. Japan, Yeah. Right. You know, but we went to LA like Peace, Pedro. 20, Thank you. 2010, 2012. 2012. Okay. 2012. Okay. And then in LA, we found this mom and pop shop that had literally had tons and tons of Laney's from Jordan 99. 14, like yeah, vintage, Jordan 14 Laney's. Sneakers. Mm-hmm. Laying around. We're like, whoa, why is this still here? Like, how has nobody picked this up? And we ended up cleaning the whole store out a bunch of like vintage, vintage Jordans. Yeah. That was oh, like, wow. Fuck. Yeah. That's crazy. And that was like a gold mine. It was just like you. Oh yeah, yeah. we make good money off of that. Yeah. But so, that. you know, that's my favorite thing to do. I love going to different spots and like, oh wow, they still got these. I, I still love that experience. Nowadays, kids don't have that. Yo, yeah. I can just shop online. Oh, hey, oh look, UPS just dropped it off, <laughs> but they're two days late. I'm like, man, get out of two days late is good. We used to get. <laughs> what's, Get you like two weeks later after we pay people. So you enjoy the shopping aspect of it still. You still like like digging and finding the treasure and like. Well, it, it's the times have changed. To hunt for sneakers, it's changed. It's hard. Yeah, for people like me, bought it up. Already, yeah. You know? <laughs> so, yeah. But that's yeah. why we try to keep a lot of stuff in store. 
A lot of people, oh, sell on, I sell on, I'm from here, I'm a man. But yo, listen, when you come in, pick up the shoe, feel it. Oh, man, this is dope. I found this here at Image today. Right. You know, I don't want you, oh, I'll just drop it off to UPS and you get in two days. I, I don't like that sometimes. <laughs> I like to come in, feel it, try it on, and have an experience out of it. Yo, do you, uh, cause I, I catch myself, I collect, I collect comic books, right? So whenever, wherever I go on vacation, I kind of like on a DL, like look at my phone and just Google comic book shops, oh, wherever the that. fuck I am. Yeah, 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 so sure. do you guys like, uh, you Google like sneaker shops? Like oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, every, everywhere we go. Yeah. <laughs> no, listen, I, I took my wife and my daughter to the spot in Jersey one time and I walked in this little shady spot. Smell mm. like weed. I'm like, oh fuck! I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get yelled at by my wife. You know, once we get the hell out, you took me here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was like, I was like, yo, let me browse around, get the hell out of here really quick. And I'm like, yo, I can't bring my daughter, and my wife into the spot. But right, you know, that's it's always when I'm going somewhere, I have to find a sneaker store to go and check out. You know, you guys are fiends. Fiends, we're fiends, yo. <laughs> you also shopping for your inventory, which is, you know, that's that's another. Yeah, yeah you can always say that to the. I mean, you, have, you ever buy like a whole ones. like a whole lot, and you're like, I'm gonna keep these. <clears throat> like, I, I want. This. Oh hell yeah, <laughs> all the time. So it's kind of like shopping for yourself, but like, yeah, I gotta shop for the shop as well. So. Oh shit. But that's the uh, best Vincenati. part. Of, you know, having the shop, we have access to what we love at first, which is sneaker. You know. Yeah. Right. That's crazy. And you guys, how are you guys holding up with all of this? Like, you know, COVID stuff, and we're blessed to be. Busy in a sense, no. Yeah, um, we we launched a new service recently, uh, a sneaker cleaning service. I saw that. Um, we're supposed to like, do that pre-COVID. Yeah, we're supposed <laughs> yeah. to do it pre-COVID. So, but now it's like we're like a sneaker drop-off. You know, people want picture a laundromat before your sneaker. <laughs> dry cleaner. It's dry cleaner. It's, right. it's becoming that. It's a very Korean thing. I know about dry cleaner. I clean your fucking <laughs> kicks, bro. <laughs> So that's uh, that's been picking up. You know, we're, we're starting to you know offer that service to everybody. Um, other than that, you know, people are shopping, you know, we're trying to pick up business where, you know, we t businesses have been down all, you know, everywhere for a lot of people. So yeah. we're just trying to pick back up. Perry, did you, um, so the sneaker cleaning thing, like you just drop it off. What's the turnaround? How much is it? You know, um, like, do you uh, repair uh, Atmoses? <laughs> <laughs> Turnaround's about a week, but we do offer next day services. Oh, that's good. For a little bit, you know, a little okay. extra. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it could range from anywhere from ten to thirty-five dollars. Thirty-five is like the whole package. It's not bad. <laughs> Where you, it clean, cleans the whole shoe. That's super out. reasonable. Yeah. Very reasonable. Yes. Like bring your sneakers back to life, pretty much. And is that yeah. for any material? Any material? Like, or any material, are yeah. you like, all right, I don't know if we want to touch these. Yeah. Cause... What is if it like if it's like bald eagle fur, bro? Like, are you guys going to be able to do that? <laughs> there's a method for every every material. Yeah. The suede, new bug yeah. mesh, leather. But there's certain stains that like, like couldn't come off. Oh, of course. Off. Yeah, yeah. Liquor okay. stains. You know, I'm sure you guys know. Some yeah. liquor stains like yeah. taken. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they do. That's yeah. kidding. Yeah, yeah no, I know. It's ruined so many. That's usually why I just wear black kicks. All right. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to start but. wearing sandals, bro. Fuck that. Where's his Crocs? <laughs> 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 Nothing against Crocs. Big up to the medical and the chef profession. But uh, yeah, in the bar, you can't wear Crocs. Yeah. You know, get spilled on, get bleach yeah. everywhere, too. But um, talking about image, <clears throat> image. What's your favorite thing about Fat Buddha, man? Because I know you guys hung out here. Yeah, we can't get rid of you guys. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> the environment, the vibe, the music, the food, the food, uh, yeah. hip hop. You know, can't wait to be back, like, like old times. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, the hip, the music, the, the vibes, people. Yeah, the people, yeah, everything, the bottles, know, just, yeah, yeah. The service, <laughs> the flamethrowers, yeah. yeah. At this point, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, next time you guys come in, we'll like throw on some booby tassels for you guys and We're hold here your you. sparklers. <laughs> We're here for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, fellas. Well, yo, it's been great having you guys on here. Thanks for having us. Appreciate Thank, it, man. Thank you. Thank you. Know, Thank definitely you, man. a lot of sneaker heads love what you guys are showing yeah. and doing and uh you know and you, you guys will definitely be back man because we're gonna you know sneakers is a whole part of our culture you know new yeah. york city culture yeah. old yeah, new york one of the seven elements of hip-hop exactly I so yeah. you know you guys are yeah, definitely here all thank right you, thank you yep. all right guys i think uh what is it i think we're gonna raid another party right now for uh persuade 
on oh, uh yeah so if you guys want to check out some dope art and stuff i think it's his premiere twitch event let's do it uh so guys just like uh hang out in the chat if you guys want to uh raid shop this at thing. image shop, shop at, at image, image ny right, get in there get on their instagram get say fat buddha there. sent you they <coughs> might they might give you an image sticker i don't know let's <laughs> see what's up <laughs> all right just don't say carlos sent you because no. they'll say they don't have <laughs> anything in size get 10. out of here but uh, yeah, Charge that's about it. Yo, yeah. thank you guys so just, much. Just say Carlos will pay for the bill. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> People are like, yo, put it on our tab. We're like, there's no I tab here. drink just tickets. Put it on my tab. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks, yo. guys, so much. Thank Thanks for the love, love support. You guys. Care, yo, guys. Peter peace. Peace. Harry. Guys. Yo. yo, guys. We'll see you soon. Peace, peace everybody. Peace, Thanks. Peace, peace, peace. Much love. Peace. Later. My guys. It's